You're listening to the world of business and taxes with Mike Lodge, keeping you informed. So let's get started. And welcome to the podcast of the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. So the Democrats came out yesterday with a a new deal, or a better deal, I guess is what it's called. But if you read their plan or their proposal, it's basically the same that Hillary Clinton ran on. It's the same infrastructure, uh, uh, getting people to work more jobs through government spending, and the list goes on. It's the same exact message that Hillary Rodden Clinton lost her candidacy on. The Americans saw through it. The only thing that I see that's different is that because Warren, Senator Warren is now involved in this plan, is that they want to attack corporations and they want to have more oversight and more control over businesses. Now that in itself is dangerous because the government cannot even run itself very well. It's overspending, it's wasteful of money, it's overtaxing, it's overreach, it's over regula- it's over regulations on Americans in, in their businesses, from small businesses all the way up to major corporations. And to say that this is better for America is absolutely stupid. Democrats feel that the more control that they have over your life, the better that America is. And in fact, what it does is it drains America. It drains it. Businesses are never quite sure exactly what the government is going to do next, so they don't hire anybody. They stall off on on creating new jobs because they don't know what the Democrats are going to do next to make their lives harder. There's nothing enriching about this better deal from the Democrats. It's the same old socialist message of nonsense. I don't know what has happened to the Democrats, but they have completely lost it when it comes to thinking about Americans instead of thinking about a political agenda. Political agendas do nothing, do nothing for Americans. If we don't stop them, America will get worse, not better. If we don't get government out of our hair and and stop taking control of over what we do over our health care over our taxes over everything we again i stress this have taxation without representation and it's time that americans say okay stop stop this foolishness this nonsense of having a country run by individuals who think Government is better for them. That's not what America was designed. That's why we declared our independence from England because we were being ruled by tyrants. And that's basically what this better deal is for America is that it's a ruling by tyrants who want control over you and me. This is not what America is about. We cannot keep failing like this. We cannot keep listening to failed ideas and failed political agendas. Look at what look at America for the last eight years, seven years that the Democrats had a little bit of power and then they had the presidency. Nothing was done. To make your life better or my life better. They try to sell you on the the idea that Obamacare was their answer to everything. But yet it began to fail and it failed every single day. Exchanges began to close. Insurance companies began to pull out. Premiums went up. Deductibles went up. Healthcare went up. It did not work when government 
got into control of our health care and our decision making process. It did not work and it still is not working. So this better deal is worthless because it's the same old message and Americans are hurt again. We've got some radicals in the Democratic Party that has gone so far left of center that I'm afraid I don't think they can come back. I think they're so enthralled with this socialism ideals where everybody should be created equal and not have to work for it and not have to work to succeed. Everybody should be on an even playing field. I'm afraid that's not what America is about. It's about achievements. It's about getting things done. It's about being creative. It's about being rewarded through pay by what you do. It is not about an equal playing field. Everybody's equal under the law? Yes. But we're not equal when it comes to running our businesses and trying to be a success in our professions and trying to achieve great and better things for this United States. A better deal? No. Same old message, same old game plan, same failure. Americans, begin to stand up for your rights. Begin to talk back to these people who want to take more control of your life. It's not worth it. It is not worth to be controlled by a government that, do, that does not believe in success and achievements. We're a great American dream. People want to come here, even Muslims want to come here in a Christian society because they know they're on an equal playing field under the law. But they're not under an equal playing field where they can go out and be a success and achieve and do great things in business. That's why people come to this Great land of ours because we offer that possibility. If they wanted government in their lives, they would stay where they're at. They would stay in the country that is run by socialists. But they want to come to a United States where we're united in our belief that we can do anything. And government doesn't have to participate in our lives. So, my assessment of this better deal, there's no deal. It's the same old message of the Democratic Party. And it's, and it's become more of a socialist, or socialism, I would say, than really thinking about the American people. If the Democrats want change, they've got to change from within. If the Democrats want to change America, they've got to change the philosophy of about what America is about, not what they want America to be under their political agenda. So that's my assessment of this whole deal. It's not even a better deal. It's, it is just another rerun of failure. This podcast has been brought to you by Lodging Company, a business and tax advisory firm, you can visit their website at www.lodge-co.com. If you want to listen to all of our podcasts, you can go to iHeartRadio and look us up there, or you can go to iTunes, or you can go to our website at www.wbtpod.com. We keep all of our uh, podcast there and we also do our blogs there you can read that and we also produce a flipboard magazine on business and we try to identify uh, articles that will help you on running your business on starting up a new business uh, we we believe that 
2017 is the year to start your new business. So we want to encourage you to do that. If you have a question for me, you can send it to mlodge, M-L-O-D-G-E, at lodge, L-O-D-G-E, dash C-O, dot com. Thanks for joining me today, and we'll talk with you again soon. Thank you for listening. Join us again tomorrow. Stay informed with the world of business and taxes with Mike Lodge. Have a great day.